Hello and welcome to yet another interesting session for the day. And today's topic is uh, transferable skills. For the last couple of years, we have been hearing this word called as transferable skills. What does this word mean is, is very, very simple. What you need to understand is any skill that you are able to transfer from one job to another. There can be so many skills. For example, the basic, basic skill is listening skills, communication skills, analytical skills, responsive skills. These are the basic, basic skills which are also called as transferable skills because if you consider any job for that matter, you would be able to uh, communicate effectively, listen properly, analyze it, comprehend it and maybe respond it every time whenever you are coming across people. And what I mean when I say people is in a professional environment, they are your colleagues, they are their peer. All are professional and in this professional environment, what we need to understand is transferable skills are the most most important skills which are being harped on, being focused on and every recruiter is very keen to know what kind of a transferable skill that you are, you are you're bringing to the organization and if they are able to identify in the interview, I think that is the point that your candidature is taken seriously. But Talking about transferable skills, how to develop it. So what we have done is out of the research that we have done, we have we are able to figure out 10 transferable skills. Of course, there are very many, but 10 transferable skills that uh, we are going to lay down for you all so that you take a note and try to understand. And if you have understood it, let's try to bring into a practice, nourish it so that one day we are able to encash on our employability. Again, the bottom line is how far we are able to get employable rather than getting employed. So let's address each and every skill sets here. Business strategy. Understanding business strategy is a fundamental skill, whether you are joining a small business or a large cooperation. The term business strategy is used to describe a set of actions, plans and goals concerning how the business intends to compete in a particular market with a specific product or service offering. Developing a business strategy and implementing it is certainly not easy, but understanding what is required to achieve this is the key. This transferable skill is about understanding how to put together a strategy that involves careful planning knowledge of the market and defining organizational goals. These skills would be beneficial in any role from sales through to finance. The second skill that we can talk about is leadership and team management. Effective leadership and team management involves taking charge and motivating others to achieve specific goals on an individual team and company level. Possessing leadership and team management skills will mean that you can effectively manage groups and delegate responsibilities, plan and coordinate a variety of tasks, solve problems and resolve conflict, make and implement decisions and coach others as well. These skills don't necessarily have to be workplace related. They can be acquired through a group project at university, doing internship sometimes, a period of work experience or time spent carrying out voluntary work. Most of them get featured under non-government or NGO organization. The third skill that we could talk about is problem solving. Every business encounters issues and if you can demonstrate your ability to solve problems, this will be a major bonus for your application. Some problems are easier to solve than others and often they relate to the achievement of goals and the barriers that prevent these goals from being achieved. So you can always take a clue and start from a smaller problem solving. The degree might be smaller, but the version go better as you get into the habit of problem solving. The fourth skill that we can talk about is teamwork ability. Collaborative working is a must for any organization. Employers want to see their staff work together towards the achievement of common goals. Effective teamwork involves sharing credit and accepting responsibility for your own work, being receptive to the ideas and suggestions of your colleagues, 
building rapport with staff across all areas of the businesses and establishing effective communication channels to avoid duplicated work, mistakes or other problems. The fifth in the list is data analysis. Being able to analyze data is a key task in many different businesses. From identifying patterns to understanding customer metrics, the ability to evaluate information effectively will contribute in some way to the business. The complexity of this analysis will depend on the company and the specific role, but an aptitude for interpreting information, extracting results and developing reports is a valuable transferable skill. An employee should be able to use databases to collect data, analyze it and then interpret the information they have collected. Data collection and analysis is relevant to many different roles from finance and IT through to marketing and sales. The sixth in the list would be communication skills. I think we have talked about this initially. Being able to communicate well is perhaps one of the most basic employability skills which also gets featured in transferable skills. Verbal communication is about communicating clearly and concisely with others, whether it is a customer or colleague. In the world of work, you will be required to present information to a range of audiences, both inside and outside the business. Not all of these people will have an understanding of your work. So being able to communicate with clarity and articulating your ideas in a logical, organized and effective way is important. Written communication is also important. Good writing skills are as important as being able to speak to someone clearly. Don't we know this fact that 9 out of the 10 people do not get promotions just because their communication, verbal and non-verbal communication does not match the organizational objective. So many employees will be asked to prepare reports and ask, you know, explain specific information about products, services and business operations. The majority of written communications are created to encourage the readers to take some form of action. So you must be able to demonstrate a natural ability to write persuasively and engage the reader. The seventh in the list is time management. Time management is a way in which you organize and plan your time to carry out specific activities. Effective time management boosts productivity, meaning that you can complete more work in less time, even when you are working under pressure. Good time management is about planning your day, minimizing distractions and carrying out regular reviews to make sure that you are making progress. A significant factor in time management is prioritization and it is only with practice that you can learn to prioritize your tasks more effectively, focusing on the most urgent tasks rather than less important activities. Eight, work ethic. Having a strong work ethic is often part of your own values. It is based on a personal understanding of taking pride in your work because you want to rather than the rewards that you may receive. Demonstrating a positive approach to work and being honest as well as taking initiative and caring about your co-workers are all factors that convey a strong work ethic. In addition, learning new skills, showing a commitment to your employer and being responsible for your own work, even when things don't go as you plan, all illustrate a good work ethic. Number ninth, commercial awareness. Showing that you understand the marketplace in which your employer operates, as well as knowing what makes a business successful is a key requirement in many jobs and even more important when applying for graduate vacancies. Once appointed, you will be able to offer a more tailored level of customer service and support the business better if you demonstrate keen commercial awareness. This could include fully understanding the company's missions and aims, demonstrating your knowledge of the sector and your awareness of the economic and political issues that affect the business, knowing 
who the major competitors are and understanding the commercial priorities of the businesses number 10th and the last listening and providing feedback listening is the ability to understand and interpret messages and it is key to all successful communication poor listening skills results in a breakdown in communication as well as irritation or sometimes frustration better listening skills and consequent feedback can boost service delivery increase productivity and create better information sharing so these are the 10 transferable skills that we thought as a market research bring it to you to your notice so that you are able to register it and maybe take a note of learning it earlier early starters are always the early birth to upgrade upscale in their career path so best wishes in terms of learning these transferable skills thank you